What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're making very easy, simple, anabolic meal prep burritos, AKA camping burritos. We're calling these camping burritos because my brother always brings burritos with him when we go camping. He always makes vegan ones for me and I figured why not run with this idea and turn it into something that we can eat every day. Super easy to make that's even higher in protein. There's no need to bump our gums anymore. Let's dive into the recipe. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make one to three of these that you can take with you for your day. Now, I'll put the calories and macros for one burrito up here. But in this video, we're making three burritos. So why not show you the numbers for all three? So here you go. Now you may have noticed in the last video where we made anabolic cloud cookies, I'll put the link here in case you didn't see it. I like to use few ingredients as possible. And that's purely just because I like to keep this simple. If your meal prep isn't simple, easy, and quick to do, you're kind of missing the point. These meals are supposed to be easy and practical for people who live busy lives. So jumping into the very few ingredients you will need for these, when you go to the store, you're gonna wanna pick up these Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps. These are great because there's only 50 calories in one wrap. These are very low calorie, especially in the world of wraps. Next up, you're gonna need some black refried beans. We're making these 100% plant-based, so if that's the way you're running it, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you pick up beans that don't have lard in them. Being that I am on a shred right now for my upcoming trip to Mexico, I am cutting calories wherever possible and omitting lard, even if you aren't vegan or plant-based, is a great way to do exactly that. Next is your protein source. We're using Upton's Naturals Traditional Seitan. Now, I specifically like using this brand because most seitans tend to have a very high sodium content. So in the world of seitan, and this has a lower sodium content than most. Sodium is important, especially for athletic performance, but we don't wanna overdo it. I also love this specific brand of seitan because the macros are incredible. In one serving that's 57 grams, we're looking at a half a gram of fat, five grams of carbs, and 18 grams of protein. So I think it's pretty easy to see why I would like this stuff. This is great for building lean muscles, especially when you're a shred because you're keeping your calories from fats and carbs much, much lower. Next up is the cheese. We're using Dea cheddar slices. Now, if you're being adamant about about cutting calories wherever possible. Omitting the cheese is a great place to start, but you have to keep in mind we're only using one third of a slice for each burrito, which totals only 20 calories. So you're really not adding in that many calories by having this. If you wanna cut it out, by all means, go ahead. But for this recipe, I'm going to include it. Next, we're adding in essentially calorie-free flavor without adding any extra difficulty to the recipe by adding in chives. Now, if you're a fan of onions, these are very close relative to onions, except we don't have to cut them up. We don't have to chop them into little pieces. We're keeping it easy. Nice and easy is the name of the game. And these, check that box big time. And last but not least, some more calorie flavor with a kick, some Cholula hot sauce. Now, this stuff is my favorite brand of hot sauce and it doesn't really matter what flavor you pick, in my opinion, they're all gonna be bangers. They're all gonna make your burritos taste good. For today's video, we're using the chili lime because it is so good, no calories, no added difficulty. As a general rule, adding a hot sauce to your meal prep is a simple and easy way to add low to no calorie flavor to your meals. So by all means, if you like hot sauce, try it. If you don't like hot sauce, pick some up that isn't too spicy. Personally, I'm not looking to set my mouth on fire, so the chili lime is great for me. Not a lot of kick, tons of flavor, no calories. All right, to kick off these burritos, we're gonna take one Olay Wellness Wrap, and we're going to place it on our digital scale. Now from here, you're gonna zero out your scale. This is the beautiful part of using a digital scale, guys. If you don't have a digital scale, highly recommend you pick one up. A lot of people feel that they're too much work, and I promise you, if you wanna take your body to the next level, you need to get exact with your measurements. This will give you more control over how much you eat, thus giving you more control over the results you get. Once your scale is zeroed out with a tortilla in place, we're going to weigh our black beans. Again, guys, I like to keep this simple, so we're gonna operate with serving sizes. We can see here that one serving size is 130 grams. So we are slowly but surely going to scoop out our refried beans until we can get 130 grams on the scale. Once 130 grams has been hit, we can go ahead and zero out that scale again. Next, we're grabbing our seitan, and for simplicity's sake, we're only using one serving size, which is 57 grams of seitan. So once your scale is zeroed out, go ahead and put on, slowly but surely, 57 grams of seitan. Once you've obtained that specific weight, we can now move on to the cheese. Since we don't need a full slice for one burrito and we're cutting calories, we're only going to use about a third of each slice, which cuts our calories down to about 20 for this cheese. Now I like to break the cheese up into little pieces because if you're putting this in the oven, it's going to cook and melt a little bit easier and more evenly. But there's something to be said about rolling these up in aluminum foil and then saving them for later. 
I swear coming back to these, it's like leftovers that taste better the next day. It's just phenomenal. It's a different way to enjoy them, but it's just as good, I promise you that. All right, now that we've got our cheese on, we can go ahead and sprinkle some of our chives onto the burrito. I just go off eyesight here because this really isn't going to affect the calories at all. I don't need to smother my burrito in chives, but I don't need to put one or two on here. I'm gonna put a decent amount, try to evenly cover as much as I can because these will add a nice taste to the end product. And last but not least, your Cholula hot sauce. This stuff really sends the whole burrito over the top. Even if you're not a hot sauce fan, if you're not leveraging hot sauce for your shreds or your weight loss journey, you're really missing out. You can find some that isn't spicy. It's a very easy way to add in calorie-free flavor that you can actually taste to your meals. So trust Chef William on this. I wouldn't steer you wrong. If you're not leveraging hot sauce for your meal prep, and you're trying to lose weight, whether that's just a fitness goal, or you're getting ready to compete in a tournament, or whatever the case is, go ahead and get you some hot sauce because you're missing out. Once you have your burrito or your two burritos or your three burritos complete, you can either store these in the refrigerator to be had later on, or you can throw these in the oven, say 350 degrees for about 20 minutes to get them nice and hot. What's really nice about these is you don't have to cook anything. So these are very easy to make on the fly. You can make a bunch of them, store them for later. You can take a few of them with you on the road, to work, whatever the case may be, but they're easy to make, they taste amazing, and best of all, the macro Macros and calories are phenomenal. I wouldn't show it to you, but I didn't truly believe in it. I'm eating these every day, and I hope that you learn to leverage these too. And we almost forgot the final step, the taste test. show you this. Wow. One of the most challenging parts about being on a shred for me is the feeling of hunger and feeling empty. The combination of high fiber and high protein in these burritos will fix both of those issues. I can eat two of these and feel full for hours. It's a beautiful thing and it makes shred life that much more easy to deal with. And that's the video guys. I need to get back to prepping the rest of my burritos. I hope you got something out of this. Remember, this is a jujitsu and fitness channel. So it's only fair for me being an athlete to show you the simple and easy meals I use to fuel my training. Hmm. I have so many simple and easy meal prep ideas that are calorie and macro friendly, so I expect to see more of that along with more jujitsu and fitness content. In the meantime, eat plants, train hard, and feel good. I'll see you in the next one. Yo, let me finish that burrito, burrito bella. <laughs> Stop. You look naked. I'm a waste of